At the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries, anti-Semitism became a political movement that turned hatred of Jews into an ideological program and guideline for political action. Behind it lay an ideology that stigmatized Jews as the others and staged them as a danger-threatening society. During the First World War, the inner truce initially led to a slowdown in anti-Semitic agitation, but the unfavorable course of the war promoted the anti-Semitic exclusion policy. Political rights swore to the mode of swift flaming of the imagined group of Jews, anti-Semitic positions became socially acceptable, and anti-Semitic abuses became a formative everyday experience. The family lived in the Leopoldstadt district of Vienna, where about 38.5% of the population was Jewish, Herbert's family included. Due to this concentration of Jewish inhabitants, Leopoldstadt gained a nickname which translates to Matzah Island. Herbert Schwartz was born to Ludwig and Irene Schwartz in Vienna, Austria on August 26, 1916, right in the middle of World War I. The end of the war in 1918 was also the end of Austria-Hungary, and on November 12, 1918, German Austria was proclaimed in front of the parliament. Herbert's father Ludwig was a musician and a composer throughout his lifetime, while his mother Irene, who was Ludwig's second wife, was an opera singer. Herbert was educated by private tutors throughout much of his childhood and attended secondary school at Gymnasium Vasagisa in the 9th district of Vienna during the 1930s. By 1936, Herbert was attending medical school. He was only about 19 years old at the time, but his medical education in Vienna did not last long. Because of the restrictions being placed on Jews, Herbert and his father left Vienna and boarded the SS Westernland to the United States in the same year. Sponsored by Ludwig's brother Arthur Schwartz, who owned Princeton Mills in New Jersey, the two entered the United States and New York as tourists from Southampton, England on September 13, 1936. They later re-entered from Canada at Rouse's Point, New York. While in New York, Herbert attended NYU and eventually went to dental school at the University of Buffalo. On August 11, 1938 in Buffalo, he married Loretta Tug, who was only 18 at the time. Together, they had three children, Irene, Patricia, and Roberta. He was married a second time to Alice Hilton and had two more children, Barbara and Catherine. At the time of his naturalization in 1940, he changed his legal name to Herbert Layton Hayward. This was the name he was known by throughout his adult life. He then joined the U.S. Army and served in the Medical Corps and Patton's Army. Here, he is pictured at training for his service. While in the Normandy invasion, he was stationed in France. He stayed in Europe to search for the rest of his family at the end of the war, but found no one left alive. Although Herbert was Jewish for much of his life and had the Hebrew name Eliezer, he converted when he returned to New York after the Second World War. He wanted to hide his Jewish background after seeing the horrors of World War II firsthand. At home in New York City, Herbert practiced orthodontics and craniofacial rehabilitation. He died in 1988 and was buried at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in Manhattan.